Frank, many congratulations. Fantastic way to start your Everton managerial career. What most pleased you about what you saw out there this afternoon? It was the, um, the things that we talked about in the week and worked on in the week, the way we saw them come out on the pitch. I know the players have been through a tough time, results-wise, knocks confidence. <clears throat> so when you ask certain things of them, like being brave on the ball and playing, trying to play through lines like the second goal, then that makes me really happy. And then the, the big thing today was the atmosphere in this stadium. <clears throat> it's been spoken about a lot to me. I played against it a lot. Um, and when it rises, then it's really difficult to play against. So the players had a responsibility to, to lift the fans. They did that. The fans lifted. And when we can do that, then things can be bright. On the pitch, is it about getting the players to perhaps lose that nervousness that's undoubtedly been around in this place for the last well, year or so? Yeah, and they need to feel support for that from, from me and from our staff. You know, we work through the week. Our, our job is to give every individual support and to give a game plan and a style of how we want to play and to reinforce it and to reinforce it. Um, and that's what we did in a week. And, and again, I, I certainly won't be getting carried away if I'm winning the FA Cup. We've got big games coming ahead, particularly in the league, as we know. Um, so it's important that the players keep level-headed about it. But there's so many things from today that we can take as positives and, and take them forward. Touched on it there, but to hear this crowd singing your name, even at this early stage, must have a, a special feeling. Yeah, it does. It really does. I, I can't thank the fans enough for the support I've had before this. You know, coming to this club um, last week in difficult times, um, and they've given me you know, some messages, feeling in the city for the last week since we've been here, and then the reaction they showed on the pitch today. It means a lot to me. Thank them for that. Uh, what means even more is the way they support the team. You know, when, when we're trying to play, there'll be moments, and they'll come just after today. They'll come when we, we're trying to do things, and sometimes passes may go astray, or people are trying to do some different things on the ball. To, but that, that's the way I want us to go. And so we need their support, and we absolutely got it today. For you on a personal level, what's the year away from football been like? Quite nice. <laughs> Quite nice. It's great. I've been, you know, I've seen more of my children. I had a son that was born. Um, nice. You know, it was. It, it's not. It's been reflection time. Um, in terms of perspective, you know, football's not everything. Yeah. Feels like it today, but it's not everything. So I've, no, I've had a good year. I wanted to get back. The opportunity to come to Everton, once I spoke to the to the owners and the chairman and the board was was a huge one for me. So uh, I'm delighted to be here and just ready to start. Well, we started now, but ready to keep going. If there's only one slight negative, he's just hobbled past you there in the background. That's yeah. Ben Godfrey. Has he done his hamstring? He's a, he's a hamstring. Don't know how bad. Um, so we'll see. We're slightly concerned. They're not easy to gauge on day one. We'll have to settle down for two days or so, have a scan. And I'm disappointed because, you know, to come and play here, from and work here, we're going to work with good players. And he's shown that he's a top, top young player. Um, but we've got other players that can come in. We'll support him, hopefully get him back as soon as possible. But... You see a change in the first half, not easy. And you see Yeri Mina come on, who travelled and played two games and long travel back in the week, comes on and plays brilliantly and that's, that's what we need to do. It's a great start ahead of what is already a big week for you though with Newcastle and Leeds to yeah, come. Yeah, and that's why I won't get too carried away. Our, our focus flips straight onto that. Very tough games and we mustn't put everything on those games. We just prepare for them. There's a lot of games to go this season, but we'll prepare for it. Um, 18 games to go in the league. Let's keep going with what we saw today.